I'm laughing this part right here. <laughs> Bless me, undress me. All right, today I'm checking out Nightwish. I'm listening to the song, She Is My Sin. Let's get into it. She is my sin. She's not singing about herself. Or is she the she that is the sin for this guy, this guy who's married or is about to get married? They said something about he's married, about to get married. And then he's lusting after, who is, who is this singing? Tarya? Is this Tarya singing? He's lusting after Tarya. That's what the sin is? Okay, I was saying it's going to be something different. But you know, you know, it is what it is. I feel like this situation happens all the time. What is she saying? Fall into? What is she saying? Fall into your deepest, darkest sin? Like give into it? Or something like that? I don't know. But by the end of it, we'll see. We'll see what she's saying about the whole sin activity. I didn't realize how many songs Nightwish had that were lusty. You know what I mean? They got a decent amount of lusty songs. Once we started getting into the lusty songs, yo, that kind of shocked me, but I like it. I like that topic, the burning desire passion. I mean, it doesn't have to be sinful lust. You don't gotta be lusting over, over somebody like adultery kind of lust. And I don't care about all that. But like the burning, the burning desire kind of style, you know, the lusty songs. Not always adultery, but lusty. I like that.
See, and I don't, I don't I'm be forgetting the lyrics by the time I come to pause the song. She said something at the back half of that song. Oh, this is the part where I was laughing. This part right here. <laughs> Bless me, undress me, pick your prey in a wicked way. God, I must confess, I do envy the sinners. Yo, is she the object of the married guy's desire? That was my question in the beginning. I feel like this kind of answers it. Why would she be talking about? You know, fall. Dang it, that the part in the chorus is like fall into your deepest, darkest sin. That kind of sounds like shadow work if you mean it and like mentally just embrace that you have these desires and you're capable of this and then, you know, embrace it in like a shadow work kind of way. But you don't actually do it if you were doing the shadow work thing. But no, no, she means it. She means like, yeah, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Just lean into it. You know what I'm saying? Bless me, undress me. You feel me? It's like, <laughs> that is crazy. That you just learn more and more about Nightwish as we go on. We've had the lusty songs, but we haven't had this. You know what I'm saying? We haven't had to em embrace the sin and be lusty on me. Even if you're married and uh, uh, that kind of thing. I would love to hear the story of how this song came to be. Oh, I would love to. Is there an interview? Do do they explain this? Who wrote these lyrics? You know, is this is this about a true story? I mean, not that the guy did bless her and undress her. You know what I'm saying? But it's that's the thoughts. That's the thoughts that she was having. She wanted that to happen and probably very relatable thoughts and people probably thinking this at every wedding there's probably someone if you've been married in your wedding there's probably someone in the audience who was thinking this about you you know what i mean or thinking this about your partner you know what i mean it, it's human thoughts and things but yeah that's crazy it's so crazy i'd be forgetting to even talk about the music honestly but at least the very end you know that riff was harder than the end. The instrumental was good the drums were really banging during the instrumental section do i even call that a guitar solo i guess you call it a guitar solo but those drums Yo, those drums were master blasting during that instrumental section. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Where to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like, I don't know. 